Today we're going to talk about the correct way of putting in acid in the pool. Why don't you take a bucket, and then, just for you know, this is water, this is an acid. You pour in the acid you need, mix it around, and then walk it around the pool. Probably want you to do it. But to be honest, hey, who's going to carry a bucket? I mean, nobody. Let's put the bucket aside. I know this is the way a lot of people think it should be done, and this is incorrect. You want to just falling it down to the bottom, and they think that's for alkalinity. That's wrong. Or they think walking it like this is for pH, and that's also wrong. Acid in a pool is basically acid in a pool. It's going to affect the pH and the alkalinity the same no matter what. No matter how you pour it in this pool, it's going to do the same. When you column it down like that, it's going to go down to the bottom and it's going to sit there until it gets circulated and it's going to be a pH of 3 and it's going to be uh, basically corrosive to the pool down at the bottom and you don't want that. Walking along the same thing, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to all column down on the bottom and you're not going to want that. It's not going to do anything. By pouring 21 ounces in this pool, it's going to affect the alkalinity the same as the pH. Basically, they're both going to adjust. The pH is going to in a um, 7.8 pool, 14 ounces in a 10,000 gallon pool is going to bring it down to 7.5 and it's going to bring the alkalinity down to 4. And, uh, and you have an 8.0 pH in a 10,000 gallon pool, you're going to um, pour in 21 ounces and that's going to take it down from 8.0 to 7.5 and, and alkalinity down by 8. So you figure out, that's why it's very important to know the gallons of the pool. This is a 22,000 gallon pool. So the way I would do this, uh, in my job, the way I do this, is to be honest with you, who, who's going to carry a bucket you know, every time they come to a job? Nobody. What you can do is, I got a pole. Everybody has a pole, and this is how you do it. So, get your pole ready, and then when you pour in, you figure out your acid, say 21 ounces of acid in this pool. Pour in your acid, and then, and then take your pole, move the acid down. Stir the acid around in the pool. That way it's not going to call them down to the bottom and create a low pH. What it's going to do is mix around in the water, and your pH isn't going to drop very low because you're mixing the acid around in the water. So that's the major thing that why they don't want you to call it down like still a lot of people do. They just take the acid and they dump it down there and that's it. Especially with the pool off. If the pool's off, that acid is not going to circulate around. It's just going to sit there and eat away at the bottom. You don't want to do that. It doesn't matter. It's not for alkalinity and it's not for pH. This is not for pH. Like a lot of people say, you're walking around the pool. That's not for pH, it's not going to affect that. The way I just showed you to do it is a good way to do it. This is how they want you to do it. The bucket, walk the bucket around the pool. That way the pH probably shouldn't drop no more than they'd say 7.4, 7.5. But uh, using the pool, you have it with you every single day. You have this pool with you all the time. And just mix it around it around really good and get that acid going around in the pool and that's all you have to do and that way uh, you're, you're creating a more stable pH um, in the pool and you're not hauling it down and basically causing a problem in that spot where you're keep pouring the acid um, so again this is the best way to do it um, and this is how I do all my pools and and this is like the best way to do it. You have the pole with you all the time, and you don't have a bucket with you all the time. So this is it. Again, um, 10,000 gallon pool, pH is 7.8. You want 14 ounces of acid. Um, 8.0 to 7.5, 10,000 gallon pool, you want 21 ounces of acid. And 8.2 to 7.5, again, you want 27 ounces of acid in the pool. We'll take it down to 7.5. And then do your multiplication and you uh, figure it out. If you've got a 22,000 gallon pool, just double it or whatever, you know. But, uh, but that's it. All right.
Thanks.